Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. Because day and night cycles, it's the one backup gimmick to freshen up any video game series. Why does the sun and moon have to argue? Why can't you just be friends? Mario, how is a star gonna help their problems? The sun is a star! They just need to go to couples therapy and work this out. Waluigi's getting hooked. Not cool, like it too. Is it just me, or do all these GameCube Mario Party games feel the same? They didn't add a Bowser board! And no, Infernal Tower doesn't count. I feel like we've played this minigame before. <coughs> Awful Tower. <coughs> Leaf Leap. The S in results looks like a flip too. Mr. Tree, don't get mad at me. I have to obey the dice roll, and that's that. Why do the Pokies look so freaking creepy in this game? So DK takes one bite out of this banana and then just throws it behind him. How about finish your food, okay? And don't litter. A piece of fluff can be turbulence free? Man, we should get rid of airplanes. This is the real deal. Round of miracles? Just call it chance time. It's literally the same thing. I don't like how Daisy says, Oh yeah, I won. No need to sound so sassy, miss. Man, come on. Why do I have to watch the CPUs play dual mini games? Just tell us the winner and move on. This is the sixth game now. Let's get it right. You know what this mini game kind of reminds me of? Don't worry, I won't show the ending. This so-called car commercial scarred me as a kid. I've always wanted to mow the lawn in a video game. Why is this a thing? Whoa! What did they do to Yoshi's voice? I feel like dropping all these mines in the water is bad for the environment. Dizzy rotisserie is way too easy. Once you find out which way is straight, you're basically set. There should not be a wheel to change the pricing of the stars. Do you realize how cheap that can be? This star shuffle space is literally just giving you a free star. It is way too easy to keep track of the spinning hats. They're basically just humping the tree, let's be honest. Just like in Mario Party 4's Mr. Blizzard's Brigade, one snowball somehow turns you into solid ice. The player on the stage stands no chance of surviving because the balls move so fast. Wario looks way too happy trying to hit us with these spinies. The fact that DK moves the star every turn makes it so unlikely you'll ever get a star on Clockwork Castle. And then at night, he's replaced with Bowser. This is blasphemy. Bowser moves so slow. Pick it up, pal! Did that boulder just scream? Yep, it screamed. All the minigame modes are pretty boring and don't do much to add value to the minigames. This shy guy is the worst mailman ever. He's making civilians pick up his drop mail. Okay, if you actually got near a black hole, you can't just swim through it because you'd be slowly torn into atoms and sent to either another universe or literally nowhere. Why is Seer Terror a rare minigame? It's nothing special. It's just a luck-based one where you pull a rope and hope you don't lose. Ooh, look at these strange black balls. Hey Luigi, you shouldn't stalk Mario and Peach in their free time. That's a little creepy. The solo levels are just linear boards, and it's honestly pretty lame without stars. Alrighty then, if you enjoyed this video, then you'll surely like this one about Psycho Waluigi. It's a crazy tale about an infamous fan game, and I think you'll get a nice kick out of it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Until next time.